That's what happened. Those are the facts. But when describing this history, Senator Cruz misrepresented what happened. So I'd like to Mr. take this Chairman, opportunity Mr. to Chairman, set the I, record straight. I object, to, uh, I object to the senator disparaging a fellow member of the committee here in his absence. I would think he'd Well, he should be here, I first of all. I would, and secondly, I would he disparaged me, Senator. Uh, let him make his case, and then we'll go back to you. Sure. I object to the senator. We're here to talk about the president's nominee, a, not a, a, a colleague. Right. And I object to disparaging, hey, don't take this from my time. disparaging a colleague on this committee, and particularly in the colleague's absence. It's just not, it's untoward and it's inappropriate, and I object. Okay. Uh, can I speak to that? You can speak to it, but I think that uh, we, we'd be better off if we just let it go at this point. <laughs> you mean let me continue my speech? you do that, please? I will, thank you. <coughs> but just to be safe, just to make sure that, okay, I, I did that paragraph. This is what happened. Those are the facts. But when describing this history, Senator Cruz misrepresented what happened. So I'd like to take this Mr. opportunity chairman, to I've, set I've the record straight. I object again. The senator apparently can't get the message from the chairman that this is, in, this is, this is over the I top and inappropriate. I think the senator from Texas doesn't get the message from the chairman. Uh, you, you put the chairman in an awful bad position at this point because I, I'm not sure that that I know where I'm going. I don't disagree with anything Senator Cornyn said, but I'm not, I'm not sure I want to rule anybody out of order, but could you please leave personalities out of it? Can I explain what I'm doing here? Because Senator Cruz did the very thing that Senator Cornyn is accusing me of doing. In my absence, he misrepresented me. He misrepresented Mr. Hebert. He personally went after me. He personally impugned my integrity. You didn't object then, did you? I'm not sure I was here, and I'm not sure I, I wasn't the here characterization. But it Let me be, continue, It would sir. be a decent and honorable thing to do to do it in the senator's presence and not... Well, get him here, okay. but he'll have a tape of it. Uh, okay. I, I, allow me to read from the hearing transcript. This is Senator Cruz talking to Senator Sessions. And what I'm doing here is I'm clarifying Senator Sessions' record. Okay. Proceed. Senator Cruz, now earlier in this hearing, Senator Franken engaged you in a discussion that I think was intended to try to undermine your character and integrity. And in particular, Senator Franken suggested that you had somehow misrepresented your record. It is unfortunate to see members of this body impugn the integrity of a fellow senator with whom we have served for years. It is particularly unfortunate when that attack is not backed up by the facts. Now let's talk about who is trying to impugn the integrity of another senator. This is from senator Sessions. I would suggest that Senator Cruz was trying to impugn mine. But if you take the time to really examine the evidence, you will see that he's not making his case at all. Instead, he deliberately elides the truth. And this is about Senator Sessions. Let's go back to the transcript. Senator Cruz. Senator Sessions. Session bases attack primarily on an op-ed written by an attorney, Gerald Hebert. There is an irony in relying on Mr. Hebert, because as you well know, in 1986, during your confirmation hearing, Mr. Hebert testified then and attacked you then, making false charges against you. And indeed, I would note, in the 1986 hearing, two days later, Mr. Hebert was for forced to recant his testimony to say that he had given false testimony to this committee, and indeed to say, quote, I apologize for any inconvenience caused Mr. Sessions on this committee by my prior testimony. So an individual who has testified falsely once before this committee, his op-ed is now the basis for Senator Franken's attack on you. Let's unpack this. Mr. Hebert was not quote, forced to recant his testimony, he voluntarily corrected an error that he discovered himself. The committee did not catch him in a lie. He did not try to pull one over on the United States Senate. That's not what happened. As I noted, Mr. Hebert originally testified that he had, quote, a fuzzy recollection about the incident in question. Upon refreshing his recollection, he immediately and voluntarily corrected the record. 
But if you didn't know better, after listening to Senator Cruz, you would think Mr. Hebert was caught lying and that the entirety of his testimony was discredited. Again, this is just not what happened. Mr. Hebert did what a good lawyer does when he discovers he made a mistake. He forthrightly admitted his error and he expeditiously corrected the, the record. Before this committee votes to advance this nomination, it's important that we know whether Senator Sessions is able or willing to separate fact from fiction and speak truth to power. I am not confident that he is, and I will be voting against him, and I want to thank the chairman for his indulgence. You went over eight minutes, and Senator Cornyn didn't take eight minutes to state his position. Senator Sass, you've got 45 seconds. Please don't take one second more. <laughs> Would you mind call, uh, using the microphone? In the interest of getting to the vote, I'll submit my statement for the record. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Hatch. Aye. Mr. Graham. Aye. Mr. Cornyn. Aye. Mr. Lee. Aye. Mr. Cruz. Aye. Mr. Sass. Aye. Mr. Flake. Aye. Mr. Crapo. Aye. Mr. Tillis. Aye. Mr. Kennedy. Aye. Mrs. Feinstein. No. Mr. Leahy. No. Mr. Durbin. No. Mr. Whitehouse. No. Ms. Klobuchar. No. Mr. Franken. No. Mr. Coons. No. Mr. Blumenthal. No. Ms. Hirona. No. Mr. Chairman. Aye. Mr. Chairman, the votes are 11 yeas. Nine days. The nomination is approved by the committee and will be a, a report, report to the floor me, me, meeting over. We have further the nomination of a man who will not protect the vulnerable. That's why we have a sex, but an attorney general to protect the chance of the vulnerable. You are shameful. This body is shameful. Where are they? Hey, yeah. 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 Y